Welcome to the start and the end of my final FIFA series of all time. Over the past eight years, I've made content and a career around FIFA career mode. Over 2,000 videos and a third of my life have gone into this game. So with FIFA coming to an end and the game becoming EAFC, it's time to play FIFA one final time. But before I can begin this final series, let's take you back to the beginning. EA Sports, it's in the game. FIFA 94, or FIFA International Soccer is what it was known as. The start of what would become one of the best-selling video game franchises of all time. Before there were smartphones, social media, internet in general, there was FIFA. Fast forward 10 years later in FIFA 2004, where EA introduced Manager Mode. This allowed fans to take control of their favorite club and become the manager for the first time ever. And from that point on, people like myself, well, we were hooked. Over the next two decades, the popularity of the game mode would continue to rise and creators like myself would pop up and make careers out of managing football clubs in a video game. What's up, y'all? My name is A9 Skills. My name is s 2 Hey, what's up, guys? It's MGA. My name is Jared HD. Now, over the years, career mode had become a huge part of my childhood and so many of yours. We all remember the first teams we ever used in career mode. What was the first team I played with career mode? Well, for me, I would I would run home from school and I would always do career mode with Bayfica. Like I said, I'm Portuguese, right? So I'm a huge Bayfica fan. Jeez, this is going back a long time. The first FIFA I ever played. I got into FIFA because my granddad always took me to the football. And I remember just going into game one day seeing FIFA on the shelves and I was like, yeah, I've got, I've got to give it a go. I, I've always done the Arsenal career mode on YouTube. So, it, like, I started career mode on FIFA 12 and Barcelona was the team I first tried with, but it was Newcastle that made me fall in love with career mode. The first career mode I ever did, strangely enough, was with Blackburn Rovers. So when I first picked up FIFA, I think it was FIFA 13, and I, I legit didn't know any teams. Like, I, I was just new to football and I randomly chose Blackburn and did like a crazy career mode with them and won the Prem with them. The first team I remember using in career mode was actually Real Betis in FIFA 06 manager mode. We remember some of our favorite players who we didn't even know existed before we used them in career mode. One player that I remember always being a beast, the one guy I signed in like almost all of the early FIFAs and, his, and it was Pato. I would like sign free agents to sell them to get enough money to be able to sign Pato. For some reason, I would always sign this guy and he was just like my favorite player to get in career mode. I think I would say Hatem Ben Arfa again because I think you always had like five star skills. Yeah, so for me, a player that I always tried to use in career mode and that I kind of became a massive fan of through career mode was Ilkay Gundogan during like FIFA 12 and 13. That's when I really fell back in love with career mode. And that's when he was still a young fella at Borussia Dortmund, one of the wonder kids in the game. One of my favorite players. This is super random, but Dwight Gale. I remember he had like decent potential in career mode back in the day and I randomly just signed him to my team and turned him into a beast and won the golden boot with him. In terms of creating beasts in career mode, it was always regens for me. Playing Road to Glories or taking over big teams, but using Youth Academy and, and building fake players into absolute monsters. And of course, you remember watching your favorite creators in the series that they made around certain clubs. What was my most memorable career mode I've ever done? One that everybody remembers me for is this Newcastle career mode where I had Jose Lu, the dude that plays at Madrid now. Um, and I think that was like FIFA 14. Ooh, probably the creator club career mode that I've been doing. It's just something special, taking your own creator club all the way from uh, Division 4 to the Premier League. Those kind of career modes are definitely my favorite. My favorite career mode series ever on YouTube. I feel like it has to be the FIFA 16 My Player series. I made this player. His name was Alexander Barkley. I did over 160 episodes and I dedicated like a year of my life to this series. That is what got my start on YouTube and you're a legend if you remember that series. I've had a long career mode journey on YouTube and in terms of picking out my favorite one probably is the FIFA 13 Arsenal career mode but there have been some incredible road to glories which I think I'm more known for back then um, Sunderland and even recently doing one with my own MGH United club which I do every year now 
Where am I going with all this? With FIFA coming to an end, I'm on a mission to relive career mode across every game. In this four-part series, I'll be playing FIFA across every generation. We'll be starting with every single FIFA on the PlayStation 2. Episode number two of the series will be every single FIFA on PlayStation 3. Did you guess what's coming next? The next episode will be every FIFA across PlayStation 4. And the final episode, every single FIFA on PS5. Leading up to the launch of EAFC, I'll be taking you back in time to relive all the old clubs, all the old players, and give you that nostalgic feeling of playing retro FIFA. Now hold up because there's one thing we're missing. You can't relive FIFA without the soundtrack. Everyone remembers their favorite FIFA songs that would loop in the background as they played career mode throughout the years. Throughout the course of this series, we'll be reliving all of the old FIFA songs and building a brand new ultimate soundtrack thanks to Spotify. Each episode, I'll be asking the comment section, yes, that's you, for a list of songs to add to our ultimate soundtrack. We'll be taking a collection of new songs and old songs to build a soundtrack that you can listen to while you play EAFC on Spotify, of course. To prepare for this series to begin, you can follow the soundtrack down below. I've got things started with five of my all-time favorite FIFA songs. We're playing every single career mode in building a brand new soundtrack for EAFC. The journey is about to begin this week. Get ready to relive FIFA career mode.